welcome to engineer's mindset. So let's say we have z equal to cos xy and we are asked to find the partial derivative from the first principle. Okay, so we have z equals cos xy. And since we are asked to find partial z, partial x, it means that z is changing with respect to x. So if z increases by change in z, it means also that x will increase by change in x. Then multiply by y outside. So y is kept constant while x is increasing with respect to z. Okay, so I have z plus change in z is equal to, if I expand this bracket, I will have cos x y, x multiplied by y is x y plus y multiplied by change in x will give me y change in x. But recall from the identity, from the identity we have that cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. So that simply implies that cos xy plus y change in x will actually be cos xy cos y change in x minus sine xy sine y change in x. So if that's the case, then we can now write this equation as z plus change in z equal to in place of cos xy plus y change in x, I simply replace with this. So we have cos xy cos y change in x minus sine xy sine y change in x. Okay, so at this point you transfer z over to this side of the equation. So it means our relief is change in z at this point and that's equal to cos xy cos y change in x minus sine xy sine y change in x minus z okay so if i have this but recall that z is actually cos xy so in place of recall Okay, z is actually cos xy. So if we place all z over the side, I will substitute with cos xy. Okay, so I'll have that change in z is now equal to cos xy cos y change in x minus sine xy sine y change in x minus cos xy in place of z okay so let me connect like things i will have change in z equal to cos xy cos y change in x okay so let me send minus cos xy over here minus cos xy minus sine uh, xy sine y change in x. So I have it, but notice that cos xy and cos xy is common, so I can factorize these two. I'm going to have that change in z equals cos xy is common, so I have common bracket and left with cos y change, y change in x minus 1, okay, minus sine xy sine y change in x okay so at this point i divide this side by change in x so i will have change in z divided by change in x and that's equal to cos xy uh, cos y change in x minus 1 minus sine xy sine y change in x all over change in x so i also said that this equation can be broken as change 
in z over change in x is equal to cos x y uh, multiplies cos y change in x minus one all over change in x minus sign x y sign y change in x all over change in x so i have this i also said that the limit as change in x tends to zero the function change in z change in x will tend to partial derivative of z with respect to x so that simply implies that partial z partial x is actually the limit as change in x tends to zero of the entire function um, cos x y into cos y change in x minus 1 all over change in x minus sine x y sine y change in x all over change in x so I'll have this okay so if I choose to expand this bracket I will simply have that Partial derivative of z with respect to x is now equal to this is simply limit as change in x tends to zero of cos x y into cos y change in x minus one all over change in x minus the limit as change in x tends to zero of sine x y sine y change in x all over change in x so you have this okay so all right so partial z partial x is now equal to at this point okay let's bring back the equation we have limit as change in x tends to zero cos xy multiplies cos y change in x minus one all over change in x so please be okay so at this point just be careful let's put sine xy out i'm going to have minus sine xy limit as change in x tends to zero of um, sine y change in y change in x all over change in x okay um, partial z partial x is now equal to so let's put in the limits i will have cos x y into cos um, y in place of change in x, limit as change in x tends to zero. So I have in place of change in x, simply put zero. Okay, minus one uh, all over change in x as zero. Minus sine x y. Now take note. Uh, this is same as limit as change in x tends to zero. Okay, this is sine. Change in x over change in x times y. Okay, you have this. Now, of course, uh, the limit as change in x tends to zero of sine change in x over change in x from every class rule, this limit is actually one. Okay, so that means in place of this sine change in x over change in x. We'll simply use one from f of that so the top you have plus two in x, the first you have one, put in the limits, you have plus zero, which is actually one from f of that so. Okay, so we're going to have partial derivative of z with respect to x is equal to cos x y is to cos uh, okay, y times zero will be automatic zero minus one all over zero minus uh, sine x y so 
okay and so if a has changed the external zero of sine j divided to the change is one so you have one times y so one times y okay so partial z partial x is equal to cos xy okay into cos zero is one minus one all over zero minus cos one times y is y so i'll simply have y sine um, x y okay so at this point i will have the partial z partial x is now equal to one minus one is zero so i'll have cos x y Multiply by zero all over zero minus y sine x y and of course partial z partial x equal to cos x y times zero is simply zero divided by zero minus y sine x y and of course zero by zero will give us zero zero minus y sine x y so it means that the partial derivative of that function partial c 